busy after that one. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? It's Alice. Welcome back to my channel. My face is so freaking red right now. I just exfoliated and did some under eye patches that kind of heated up. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. But I am so freaking red right here. So I'm getting ready to go to a concert tonight. And I thought I'd film my getting ready process. I think I want to do like just a black matte smoky eye. And I think I have some tips and tricks that I'm going to share with you to get a really easy foolproof black smoky eye. First one I need to do because oh my god it is so warm. I need to put something else on here. You know what, I'm gonna do these Patchology Calming Tea Infused Aromatherapy Eye Gels because my face looks like, I look like I've been punched. And then that right there um, is a little zit sticker, also from Patchology because I have a zit. Oh, that feels so freaking good. In case you're wondering, this is an Arsis shirt. How sick is that? not going to see Arsis today, unfortunately. I'm going to see a band called Uwada. I have not really listened to their music, but Gear says that they're amazing live, so. First step of our foolproof, perfect black smoky eye. Pop some concealer on the lid, but we're gonna focus just kinda up there uh, on the brow bone, leaving it off of the mobile lid. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh concealer. I used this the other day under my eyes and bitch it was lovely just gonna get a stippling brush and stipple that around oh for reference i have the shade fair 10 n man it's hot in this long sleeve shirt you guys don't mind if i put my hair up do you let me get a little bit more concealer right So I have this secret weapon that I'm gonna, it's not really secret weapon, but I have this <laughs> secret weapon that I discovered that makes doing a black smoky eye so foolproof, so amazing, so easy, so quick, so bomb. And it's drugstore, you guys. It's drugstore, it's cruelty free. I mean, what more could you ask for? So this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Cream Liquid Eyeshadow. And it is in the shade Bat Temper. Hopefully that this isn't uh, a temporary like seasonal product. I got it in their PR for Halloween. There's also a white one and it's it's bomb. So anyway, we're gonna take this and you guys have seen me do this technique before. Usually I'll use like a liquid lipstick, like a creamy liquid lipstick, like a NYX Ultra, you know, NYX Liquid Suede. But this is specifically made for the eyes and honey. Let me just show you. Okay, we're gonna slap some here on the lids starting at the bottom because that's where we want most of the pigment to be and then we're gonna take a brush I know I know it's crazy grab a brush that does not have eyeshadow on it because you don't want to be setting this just grab like a relatively clean brush let me see if I even have one okay fluffy brush like this it's fine and we're gonna start stippling what you want to do is act quick before it dries and spread it around and also kind of sloppily blend it up and like towards the crease. Doesn't need to be perfect right now. Now we're gonna focus on something, we need something to blend out this edge so we have a nice transition from the black into the skin tone. I'm gonna grab these two contour shades. I'm going with contour colors because they're not too pigmented, they're not too powdery, which is exactly what I want just for blending out this edge. Using a rather large brush, this is Luxie 250. All right, so now that we've got that blend kind of going, we can add our black eyeshadow. This Divina Cosmetics, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. That's how it's spelled. I'm saying Devina, it's Divina. And I'm gonna go into this absolutely perfect black shade called Karma. That is going right on the mobile lid so just keep pack pack packing away create the shape that you want and then we'll blend out in a minute once the black is nicely packed on there we're going to blend i'm using a brush like this it's from kidabra yeah a brush that is this shape not too big because we don't want shit flying all over the place we really just want to soften that edge now since we are scrubbing back and forth you might 
notice that some of the black is coming up off of the mobile lid. Might need to dip back in just a teens to pat a little bit more on in some areas. I'm gonna save you all the pain of having to look at me with these on. So wipe away this fallout here. I'm gonna do a little bit of lower lash action right now before I do my foundation and whatnot. So we're gonna take our liquid eyeshadow. We just need literally the tiniest, tiniest, tiny thing. Blend that around. Next up, a black eyeshadow on a tiny brush onto the lower lash line, keeping it as close to the, the lashes as possible, to be honest, but it's going to blend out and get all over the place anyway. We have even more fallout than before. I probably didn't need to wipe away that first time. So 2020 hindsight, this is an eyeliner pencil by Milk Cosmetics. I've never tried their eyeliner pencils, but it says it's a long wear gel eyeliner. This is in the shade Boss. What's that say? Oh. Okay. That is nice. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna dip into our little eye makeup remover. Where's my q-tip? Just because I got a little carried away. Okay, we're gonna leave that for now. We're gonna soften that edge later. Let's do foundation and shit. Milk Hydro Grip. Feels so nice on my cheeks. Oh, I gotta take the zit sticker off. My zit's not gone, but it's definitely better. It's a little smaller. For foundation, I'm gonna use the Lancome Tint Edold Ultra Wear. And I think it's a little dark for me, so I'm probably gonna mix it with a little pure four-in-one love your selfie. Ah, no longer red and splotchy, I feel so much better. Okay, so this stuff is moist and we need to set it ASAP. I'm gonna use RCMA No Color Powder, specifically on my under eyes. Just gonna dust that all over the rest of my face so that we can do powder contour and blush. Spread that powder around, make sure it gets into my crinkles and really sets every ounce of concealer there. Cause if there's any moisture, it's gonna make the black bleed down. We're not going for that kind of vibe today. All right, next let's go back into our contour shades. Pop that down here under the black part. Cause right now, as you can see, it kind of goes from black and then boom, concealer. And it's kind of like grayish in between. We want there to be a little bit of brown, a little bit of transition. And then at the very end, you can dip into your powder and kind of go along the edges soften things up without depositing any more color because it's already a lot of color Ooh, you know what while I'm here I'm just gonna contour my face for my face I like to do the the browns and the grays I feel like a lot of people would consider this like a, an easy Halloween tutorial <laughs> but no it's just me getting ready to go out All right, we're gonna be finishing the eyes in just a few moments here. Let's do some blush. This is by Laura Mercier. It is called Fresco. How cute is that? It has glitter in it. And I wanna do a peachy kind of apricot-y type of tone because I just don't wanna look too pinky and cutesy and doll-like, like I'm going to a freaking metal show. This is like if a blush and a bronzer had a baby. And a highlighter? Yeah, I'm seeing the glitter. That's cute. Laura Mercier has the best blush tones ever. Let's get a little highlight action going. So this is It's Lit, I'm So Lit by Wet n Wild. Apparently this is the exact same thing as Moon Tears, the one that, I'm, that I use a lot, but it was discontinued. I thought they were different. I'm like, no, they're different. That's what I'm, I, they're the same. 
Anyway, it's like a beautiful, almost like a white gold, but it's still got a little bit of a, a little bit of warmth. So it's perfect if you need something bright, but you don't want to look like the Tin Man. Oh, and it looks crazy, but you just keep blending, girl, and it will look so moist and wet. Let's pop a little teensy bit right under where our arch of our brows is gonna go. I wanna do a little inner corner action. Just feel like if I don't have highlighter in the inner corner, it's not cute. Let's do setting spray to lock all that in. Our girl sent over this hyaluronic acid setting mist. Since these foundations that I'm using today I think are a little dry, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Wow, this is the most ridiculous fine mist I've ever seen. It's like an angel is farting on you. Brow time. Gonna do some soap brows. I've just got this toothbrush here because I'm, well, I had these disposable spoolies, but that's kind of just creating a lot of trash. So once I finished using those just decided you know what I'm just gonna use a toothbrush I've seen people do soap brows and things like that with like a brush similar to a toothbrush and like I have a big bulk pack of toothbrushes from CVS so why the fuck not it works exactly the same as this booty You know what, while that dries, let's just do lashes. I'm not curling my lashes just because I'm going to do falsies. All right, mascara is drying. I'm going to do brows. Sorry if it seems like this is all over the place, but this is literally what I do when I'm getting ready. Kat Von D's Super Brow in Graphite. So, you know what, sometimes I wonder if I'm making my eyebrows too like, it's too late, I can't do anything about it, I don't know what to do, it's, this is just it. A little mascara for the brows, just to define these front little hairs. I think the mascara in the front like really helps the brows look more 3D as opposed to just like looking like Instagram brows. Hush. It is a lash time. I'm gonna grab some random pair because there's a chance that I might rip them off on the way home and toss them somewhere in the car. Not recommended, but it happens. Last but not least is lips, honey. This is Wet n Wild, more Wet n Wild. Their Halloween collection is really just perfect for my everyday life. Um, this is Get Some Booze. Even really a metal head if your hair's not greasy. I don't think so. All right, so there is the finished look, y'all. The black liquid lipstick is actually pretty cool, except do not purse your lips together until it's totally dry or else it's gonna get patchy. But yeah, here's the finished smoky metal bitch look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, entertaining, just life-changing, just amazingly fun you know the use anyway thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and i'll see you in my next video bye